Hey YouTube, it's Grace and welcome to the first ever episode of a brand new series I'm starting where I take every single Minecraft painting and make them in real life. I decided to take a little bit of a break from custom commissions just because I was a little bit burnt out and also I wanted to make this series and also I feel like people deserve an easy way to learn how to make these Minecraft paintings if they want to make something for themselves or for their friend and they can't afford to commission someone. If you would like to use this video sort of as a tutorial to get yourself started up, you can. This is the reference image that I used. I literally just found it on Google, but if you want to screenshot it, here it is. But without further ado, let's get going. I am starting off this series with the Minecraft plant painting. This painting is a one by one ratio so you can use any size square canvas for it. I'm going to be using a 12 by 12 inch canvas for this video. I just counted and this painting is 16 pixels across and 16 pixels tall so I'm going to translate that over to my canvas. The math is super simple. All you do is take the size of your canvas and divide it by the number of pixels. So for me I took 12 inches divided by 16 pixels and got 0. 0.75, which that's the size of each pixel is 0.75 inches. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark all the way around all four sides. Now that I have all of my lines marked out, I'm just going to use a ruler and connect them and that'll make the grid. Usually with my paintings with a lot smaller grids, I will add a layer of primer just to keep the pencil from smearing, but since the grid is bigger, I don't think it'll smear that much, so I'm just gonna leave it as is. Before I start on the fun part of the painting, I'm going to mark out where the border is just so that I don't miscount anything. And I'm just gonna keep it pretty simple for now with this brown. I just used these two colors and mixed them together. You definitely don't need to use the same paints as me. Just kind of look at this and get a rough idea. This has been drying for a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the paint. For the first coat, I always keep things super simple and then go back in and add details later. So I'm gonna start with this really light, kind of tealish, greenish color. My base color for this, I just had an old container with a tiny bit of teal and I just added a whole bunch of white to it. Then I zoom into the reference and count how many pixels over and down and then just make everything line up here on my canvas and then I'm going to fill it in. I just realized that this light brown color matches pretty decently to this brown that I already have mixed up, so I'm just gonna go ahead and match that up. Next, I'm gonna be doing this color here, which I think shows up a little bit weird on camera, but is sort of like a cream color with a hint of the green. So I took this dark titanium white and mixed it with a tiny bit of this, so I'm gonna fill that in here. I just found this other light brown color that I already had mixed and found that it fit these colors pretty well. So I'm going to just use that and fill those in. I'm gonna do this black color next, which isn't actually black. It's just a super, super dark green that looks black. So I took black and added a little bit of green to it. I don't know if you can quite see the greenish hint on camera, but I'm just gonna fill that in now. For some of the lighter green pixels in here, I'm going to be using this color here. I'm mixing this lighter green with some gray to get more of those grayish green tones. I'm filling in most of these orange squares with the same color, but these two are dark and this one is lighter, so I'm leaving them for now. I kind of just repeated that whole process of looking at my reference and then matching everything up to finish the first coat of paint. For the second coat, I'm going to keep all the colors the same and just fill everything in again. Because as you can see, the grid is still kind of visible through all this. So I just want to make all the paint thicker. And then after I have the second coat done and everything is dry, then I'll go back in and add details. I think my favorite part about the second coat is going around and adding the border last and just cleaning up all the lines. It's just so satisfying. It's been about 
about two hours since that last clip. So this painting is dry now and I'm going to start on the details. Starting with the background, just like I did with the first and second coat, I'm just going to take the original base color and mix it into something that's very similar, but slightly different. I might do a couple different colors for this background just cause it's such a big part of the canvas. But I started off, I took this light color and I mixed a little bit of purple with it. So after adding all the details in the sky, that is how it looks. I really just did the same method that I talked about for the first color, where I took this base color here and then just added a little bit of other colors to it. So for this one, I added a little bit of yellow, a little bit of pink, I think, <laughs> a little bit of white, and I ended up with this. I'm gonna be doing the same exact technique for this color here next, which is just taking this as the base color and adding a little bit of a slightly different color to it just to add some more variation. I got most of the details done for the painting itself, so now I'm starting on the border. As you can see, I have a slightly darker shade and a slightly lighter shade. It's just kind of hard to see in this lighting. And just like that, I have completed my first Minecraft painting of this series. And here's the painting the next day, totally dry and in natural lighting. I think it turned out pretty cool and I'm really excited to see the next video that I make for this series. If you'd like to see a better picture of the finished painting, be sure to check out my Instagram right here. And if you're waiting for me to make a specific painting, be sure to stay tuned so you can use that as a tutorial too. This is the next painting that I'll be making. I'm super excited for it because it is a little bit more complicated than this one. But thank you so much for watching and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!